Hi everyone and welcome to this Fantasy Art Friday video. In this video I'm attempting a drawing of a gemstone giant. Uh, last year I worked on a drawing of a gemstone dragon and I found that so much fun. I, I really enjoyed working on all the gemstones and adding lots of bright colour. Uh, so that's why this idea really appeals to me. Uh, thinking about the design of the gemstone giant, um, I was thinking that maybe it would be carrying some massive gemstones on its back. Maybe they're a magical resource in this fantasy world. And the reason it's carrying these gemstones on its back is because it's protecting them from enemies that obviously wants to take them for some evil doing. <laughs> so that's just my imagination running wild with this, uh, this design. And I just really enjoy this process, thinking about these fantasy creatures and then designing them and adding the inking and the colouring. These fantasy drawings are definitely one of my favourite things to work on at the moment. So thank you so much for encouraging me and supporting me in these ideas. It, it really does mean a lot. Um, as you can see, I also added a foreground with the red caped character again, uh, making sure to add the character to show a sense of scale to this massive giant and the massive gemstones it's carrying. For the inking, I was using a Pigma Micron Zero Two, and I've really enjoyed using this recently. Uh, I found that it gives a bit more of a scratchy texture to some of the lines, especially the finer lines. And I found that angling the pen tip changes the line thickness. Using the pen in this way has just really helped me in terms of creating lines that are a bit more dynamic. Uh, I found it super helpful for that. When I was finally happy with the inking, it was then time for the colouring. And for the colouring, I used Copic markers, starting off with the giant's head. And I wanted to begin with the, the rock texture, so I used a mixture of cool grey 3, 5 and 7. Then on top of that, to add more texture and more scratch marks and that kind of thing, uh, I used a mixture of a white Prismacolor pencil and a white Jelly Roll pen. For the moss on top of its head, I blended between pea green and verdigris. Then for the gemstones, I started off with sky blue and ice blue. Then for the bright colouring towards the centre, I, I think I mixed between cerise and light pink. Then used a Prussian blue to add some dark shading that kind of separated all the gemstones. Um, then on top of all the colouring, I added some bright highlights to the gemstones with a mixture of the white jelly roll pen, uh, using this to add some fine highlights and then I used the Uniball white ink pen to add some really bright white opaque highlights. I wanted the giant's eyes to match the colouring of the gemstones, so that's why I used cerise and ice blue, and then added some bright highlights. And then it was time to move on to the rest of the drawing, uh, and I tried to follow the same techniques that I did for the, for the giant's head, uh, using the same rock texturing with the cool greys, then later on you'll see me add some darker shading around the right side of the giant's body, uh, even using a black marker to hopefully add more depth. Um, then I was continuing using the same moss textures with the pea green and the verdigris markers, and then I continued with the same colouring for the gemstones, just making them much brighter and much larger, and they were so much fun to colour. And I just really enjoyed working on this drawing, it was such a fun process. For the final part of this drawing, with the giant completed, it was then time for me to work on the background within the comic panel, and I chose to use pale heath and pale blue grey to add a couple of layers of clouds, 
And then blending upwards from the bottom, I used pale grape and just kind of faded that towards the giant and then added some clouds with a white Prismacolor pencil uh, as a good way of kind of blending and fading the giant downwards towards the bottom of the page. Then for the foreground, I used a mixture of pea green and verdigris along with maroon and dark bark. And then for the rocks, I used the same cool gray markers and then used a crimson marker for the character's red cape. Then I just followed that up with a few highlights before then just adding a few more details to the scene, uh, adding some sweeping lines right across the page to show that it's quite a windy environment, then adding some particle effects and a few extra highlights to the giant. Then after that, this drawing was completed. And overall, it took about four and a half hours to complete and it was super fun to work on. Uh, I love working on these fantasy drawings and I really want to know what you think. So please let me know what you think in the comments below and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. If you want to see more stuff like this, then feel free to subscribe. And any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. Uh, if you want to follow my progress and see photos before I post these videos, then please check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. I truly appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you all soon.